Hi everyone, I am Dante. First of all, I would like to thank the 2755 viewers. Thank you for watching. Let's proceed to our topic. In today's video, I'm gonna make a BBA VLOOKUP data entry form in Microsoft Excel with search and filter features. Before, I got 4 buttons which are the save, reset, edit, and delete. Today, we add 3 more ActiveX controls which are 1 combo box for search by and 1 text box for search value and 1 command button for search. We will put it right here. BBA is a coding language used by millions of people across the world to automate tasks in Microsoft Office products. If you have tasks in Microsoft Excel that you do repeatedly, you can put a string of codes to automate those tasks. A BBA is a command or a set of string of command that you can run as many times as you want. When you create a BBA, you are creating a dynamic automation data entry form using your user form in BBA window. I'll put the link below so that you can watch my first and second episode to understand the flow of the complete process of this video. And I'll give you a recap. Let's start. If I click the launch form button, the data entry form appears. In my first episode, I have just only two buttons, the save and the set. In my second episode, I add two more buttons, edit and delete. In episode 3, we will have the addition of a control in the workplace area. And we may have configuration in user form. We add sheet for search mode. We rename to search mode. We do not have nothing to do with this. We leave this area blank. Let's go to developer visual basic user form. Let's adjust this for our active X control. We add labels. text box and uh, level again text box Caption. Search by form. Then. Okay. Combo box. CMD. Search by. Properties caption search by phone then go to properties name. Text 
search by name. Search by name. Caption Search Now we are finished putting all the boxes Now we modify the code of edit and delete First we go to the edit We erase the code under place under and private sub cmd edit click in this code we will modify we will change the selected underscore less plus one to application for the search okay type application that worksheet Here, the match is the term of VLOOKUP, since the VLOOKUP will not be used in the visual visit. Okay, open parenthesis, me less database that less open parenthesis, me as the user. Okay, less data base dot list index comma zero close parenthesis comma space underscore okay We will copy this to paste to the other program. Okay. Copy the current form. Double click delete. Here we declare team IO as long. Team IO as long. Under the if I equals BB node then exit sum we put the code of what we are just copying okay new equals paste and then we copy this iron and we will erase the selected underscore less plus one replace it with iron Okay, let's debug this. It looks like the program is running well. Now double click the current form. Double click user form. Scroll up and we put the code to declare public enable volume in order to authorize the search button to our 
encoded data. Type public enable events as boolean. Let's go to the module. Scroll down to the bottom. We put a code of sub add search by bracket. If you have a sub, it must be ended by n sub. This is one of the most useful techniques in Excel is to name ranges. A named range can simplify code as it is possible to refer to the name and not the cell references. To create a named range, we use the add method of the workbook's names collection. The following code creates a named range called new name on sheet 2 of the active workbook. Okay. Type sub add underscore search by bucket. Inform that enable events enable events equals false. Copy this to plot this one by one to add items. Okay, we have fourteen. Okay, copy. We have only 13 because serial number is not included, okay?
So, okay, we have to add the code. Okay, uh, for the available events equals true. This code simply requires us to define the collections, objects, and methods in a normal way, okay? Now we are finished. Scroll up. Here, in subreset, loses all disk files open by using the open statement. We add here a code, okay? All right. We type below code are associated with search feature. Okay. Below code are associated with search feature. This one. This was good. That sheets open parenthesis open apostrophe search mode close apostrophe close parenthesis that go to filter mode. This auto filter modes provides us with a much faster alternative to loops of all kinds. Okay, the first thing we need to know is how to apply auto filter to a range. When we do apply auto filter mode via BVA, one should always turn the off any current filters and remove them completely. Okay. Now we have finished. Go back to paper and form to type code for the combo box. Double click. This private sub cmd search by underscore change bracket. This code is additional information needed to process a message. When a control sends a message, it may need to accompany it 
with some information for example if you position the mouse on a control and click the operating system may need to know what button of the mouse was used to click on the other hand if you select an object and start dragging the operating system may need to know if a key such as shift or control was held down while you were dragging okay after specifying the message now we type the code that tells the operating system what to do to process the message type if me that enable events equals false then exit sub if me dot cmp search by dot value equals open apostrophe all apostrophe then call reset else me txt search value search value enable was true me that cmd search that enable equals true To indicate the end of the code that relates to a message that is end sum. Okay, now go to module 1. Scroll down a little bit. Type sub search mode bracket. Sub search mode bracket. This statement can be used to create a collection of data. We will not create new collections of data. We will only use two categories, the collection class and the built-in collection. To support collections, the Visual Basic language is equipped with a class named collection of data. This class can be used to create a collection of data. Okay. Enter. We declare the sh database as worksheet. Okay, database ship.
Now, to hold the selected column number in the database sheet, we declare bin i column as integer Then I database as long to store last name. search mode Close of strategy, close parenthesis, up range, open parenthesis, a R application, comma.
s value equals value for dot txt search value dot value i colon equals application This match, this word match, is the term of the BPA of BLOCKUP, okay? S column SH little base dot range open parenthesis open apostrophe A1 semicolon 2n1 close apostrophe close parenthesis comma space 0 close parenthesis okay now we will remove the filter from database worksheet because if it is not used we will remove okay now remove filter from database worksheet okay if this is database the filter mode equals to then is h database that auto filter mode equals post Okay, and if now we apply filter on database worksheet. Okay, apply filter on database worksheet. Okay. Of course, as I have said before, before we can have the filter mode, we will off the filter mode first, okay? And since we off the filter mode, now we have the filter mode. And then if we have the filter mode, then where will we will apply the filter mode on the database function, okay? Type. We are in from that CMD search by the value equals open apostrophe and employee ID plus apostrophe then Open apostrophe E1 semicolon and close apostrophe and I did this row. I did this row close parenthesis that auto filter filled semicolon equals I follow comma criteria one semicolon equals this value copy this
copy and add else I mean else paste add the star Message box add code to remove the previous data from search mode worksheet okay search rule Yeah. 
and one and a nice making face and a colon count colon count equals fourteen. Um, here we have fourteen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, and that's why we put here fourteen. Okay, let's debug. Looks like the program is running well. We continue adding code. Okay. I search row greater than one ten. If our inform That's why I put E to to M because our heading is from A. Here is A. A to M. Okay. Put a message box. Message box. Record from. Record from. And here. And here. Okay. Now. We shall add a code here. This is the base that auto filter mode equals false application that the screen. To indicate the end of the code that relates to a message, type in some. Okay. Check. Okay. Good. Now go to if our inform. We put a code in search button. Double click search. In this private sub CMD search underscore click bracket in the case of private sub procedures this means that they can only be accessed or called by those procedures that are stored in the same VBA module any procedures within any other mo module are not able to call it even if those other modules are in the same Excel worker okay now we enter code Then 
we create a message message box this enter the value comma will be okay only plus will be information And if call search mode, we give a command to search mode. Okay. Okay. That's the bug. It looks like the program is running well. Press Ctrl S for save and out of the VBA window. Now we go to home, click, click launch form. Wow, the bug. Screen updating. Screen. Instead of screen, I type screen. So we put N out of the VBA window click again and then we check again employee name Dante search debug this is we are tracing the wrong spelling and we correct that okay instead of XL I type S now I change it to X now go back again click our form this is how you check your word around spelling okay okay let's check again employee name and key click search alright now we check again pitches employee name pitches search record found okay pitches tanggarulan okay now search employee name angelica search Record found. Okay. Angelica Tangarola. Okay, now we change it to all. Now all is here. Okay. Thank you for watching. Now you learn how to use both Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Visual Basic to create and manage spreadsheets. If you have learned something, then please don't forget to like, share, click the red notification button to subscribe.